Good morning, everybody. I thought today I would bring you on a post-holiday clean and declutter um, video because it is that time of year to go through, get rid of some things, just do a few kids' toys, maybe a little kitchen decluttering, um, and then just bring you along today as we do a little homemaking. And so um, just hopefully to inspire you as a homemaker, a mom. Oh, spin up. And to know that life is real. So I got myself ready for the day, so I feel motivated um, to do some tasks around the house. That. Do you wanna keep this one? You like that one. You can keep your stickers in your notebook. So this is the cape pile. And then keep this one. Keep that one. Okay, so we are gonna keep most of her books. We really just got rid of one. Um, I'll tuck all the Christmas ones away. We had a couple Christmas ones. Um, and this was her toy box in here. So she got a few new books and like another thing of stacking cups. So we don't have a lot out here. Obviously this is all that stays out here in the living area. So pretty minimal. And so then we'll tuck those back in here. Oh, and she get, did get a new Care Bear for. Christmas too that we'll keep and probably put in the living or in her bedroom okay next spot is this toy box again half books but there's just some things that I know she doesn't play with that we are going to get rid of or some things that Nadia will play with but we'll just tuck away and move for now and some new things she got like a Care Bear poster which we probably would never actually hang up but um, we'll see if we keep that for a little bit or if we get rid of it now. Get rid of it? No. No, you can keep it. This I think we'll get rid of because the shapes don't even stay in there. It was from Aldi a couple years ago. So we'll give that to a friend who wants this. Okay, so for toys, we got rid of quite a few things that we just don't play with anymore or that like this bear had been mine when I was a little kid. So just a couple books, um, just a few toys like some hand-me-downs, a nursing cover that I've never used, um, just a few odds and ends. So this box is pretty much full and it's a nice large box. So it feels good to declutter, especially when we've gotten more Christmas gifts and we actually still have my side of Christmas coming up this weekend so it's nice to have a box full of stuff to donate or give to friends and family okay so another area i need to declare is my facebook marketplace items that i've been selling i'm gonna look through and see if they've been on there for like over four months i'll get rid of them or ask family if they want them because some things are kids items some things like jewelry um, otherwise I will donate and kind of restart fresh in the new year here of what I'm going to sell so I've got a tote of items that I've been selling and I do sell periodically now after Christmas things kind of went down a little bit uh, Neve is playing in the background so um, need to declutter that and then we did declutter a few of her toys down in the basement here as well and she got a new kitchen set that she's playing with so we're gonna donate her other little kitchen Okay, so this is her new kitchen set that I found on Marketplace for $40. And this is a little one that was gifted to her. It's just not her size anymore and not super sturdy. So we're going to probably just donate that because I don't think I'd make any money off of this little thing trying to sell it.
Okay, so I'm gonna try to relist these workout tanks because of course it's January, so people are gonna want to go work out more. Um, I'm getting rid of a few of these items that I tried to sell for my sister. They're just either outdated or no one wants this. They whine, I whine, it's new, so if you want it, let me know. Uh, this apron I didn't want. And then these curtains I bought for 50 cents at the bins to try to resell, and I'm just gonna either hang them here downstairs or donate them. And then I'm gonna see if one of my nieces can fit in these sandals. So, um, got this bin here full of stuff still to list or that is listed. And then um, some burlap in here. I need to decide what I wanna do with I'm going to attempt decluttering and rearranging this cupboard behind me and cleaning it out a little bit. Nadia woke up early from her nap, so things don't always go as you can expect when you're a mom, so you just do what you can. But I'm going to see if I can get rid of a few things, um, and maybe arrange it to make it look a little bit nicer. So our espresso machine's on the other side of our kitchen, and so I might move a few things over there. Guess what? She spit up again on me. <laughs> So is life, right? So I might move a few things over to this espresso machine and uh, just keep a few things here too since our French press and coffee grinders over here. But I'm gonna get started on that. emptied I already have a few things I'm gonna be getting rid of um, some of my smaller mugs will be over for the espresso machine and then I just kind of recombined like some of my teas into this little tea canister I have so people can select from there when we have guests um, yeah so I made a little extra space for things like that and then I need to figure out a new container for all my essential oils because I have my diffuser here and I just have it in like a plastic storage bin I have the ones I use most in here and that baby is packed full so I need to figure out something different to do for all of these so I can um, access them a little bit better so I might try to find something I have around the house but I'm going to put everything back in since I got it wiped down with my Mrs. Myers cleaner. nothing fancy but it is much more organized I'm gonna put some labels on here because I have a label maker um, those are blazes supplements and my supplements and then the bay has got her little ones the extra teas are still in there we have just one travel mug um, hot chocolates almost out so I need to order some new ones but I might decant those too and put them in a little jar uh, these are coffee pods because we do have a simple like Walmart brand um, Keurig and so that's actually in a different cupboard. So I might move those over by that. But this makes sense for the coffee station. I found this little box. Looks so much better for my essential oils. And then we do have quite a few mugs. But if we do use the dishwasher, we end up down to like two or three by the time we run the dishwasher. Because it takes days for us to fill it. And then coffee beans, tea. These are stevia flavored water drops because it helps our little girl drink more water and then stevia um actually helps my husband drink more water too and then our grinder and we'll put our 
um, French press like either up there or down here. And so the stuff I am moving or getting rid of. So this is just a candle I had made that I need to freeze to get out. These beans are gross, so I'm getting rid of those. Just some extra things I don't need anymore. And these are all just empty boxes. Um, this was given to me when I had Nadia, so I'll put that down in my nursing box, or my maternity box, as long as it lasts that long. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it to a friend who's expecting. Gonna get rid of that. These are vitamin C pills that I put in a baggie, so I'm gonna get rid of those. Um... Yeah, that's about it for here. And then this I'm selling on Marketplace, so it shouldn't be up there anyways. These are gonna go over by our espresso machine. And then I did get these last year at a rummage and I've used them several times, but I am gonna get rid of those, I think, because I just, I only use them for picture taking. And so I'm gonna go donate those, I think, to someone who will enjoy those. So much better, and I feel much better about how this cupboard turned out, yay. out it is by our coffee area and I just haven't been motivated enough to do it yet so my husband is home so he'll probably have to go through a few things as well that are his um, that way we can put a few of our coffee items in there so that's gonna be my next little cleaning and decluttering project here got a liner in my husband's stuff is all gonna go out to the garage for some tool things and then in here we, this will all go down to like our battery or organizer we have downstairs um, and just some other more office -y supplies because there's markers there and then save all the matches downstairs okay so this one's lined and I put a little well our one little um, espresso shot cut cup that we have there that was nice to get that lined and then this one has our little um, coffee ground box in there and then our whole beans and some of our stevia sweetened flavors, which are really good to add. And then I decided to do this as well. Just line part of it and put a few extra cups that we have there in our little um, K-cup dispenser down there just so everything coffee related is more over here for that or in the other cupboard. All right, so the last thing I want to do tonight before my husband and I have supper, the girls are down for bed, is go through some of my um, cleaning supplies there. So I know I have some things that I don't really want anymore. I invested in this spot and stain remover. It works decently well, um, not as well as I would like. And I always got to have some Barkeeper's Friend on hand, some pumice stones. This one's for the toilet. This was to help with um, the sink scratches, but it didn't really work, so I don't know if I'll keep that or not. Always just good to have some good old fashioned hydrogen peroxide on hand. Uh, I haven't used this yet. It's a glass cleaner. I could put it in one of my glass spray bottles that I have from Grove. This was a long time ago that I got this, so it might even expire, I don't know. Um, I just use vegetable oil for, or vegetable glycerin for some things. Rubbing alcohol. Now this I got from Aldi. And I don't think I'm going to keep it because I'd rather have just like an all-purpose cleaner. And then I have another rubbing alcohol. And of course a toothbrush. So, oh, and then also my Mrs. Myers all-purpose cleaner. So I want to make it so I can fit this spray in here. There we go. Just kind of downsize a little bit. Makes everything so much nicer. And then I'll show you where I put all my cleaning supplies. Okay, so this is just kind of where everything is in the hallway. Just some rags, some of my other like cast aisle soaps. 
furniture spray, floor cleaner, vinegar, and then this. So just nice small space, but um, makes a lot of impact because I like to use my natural cleaners too. And then of course there's baking soda is a good cleaner too, but that's in the kitchen. <laughs> Well, I think it's safe to say that is all for this video. It was more of a decluttering and organizing video than anything, I guess. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and you enjoy my homemaking, motherhood, lifestyle, simple living videos. So I love you guys and I'll talk with you in the next